In this tutorial, we will teach you how to work with stacks in c -sharp. The stack class represents a last-in, first-out, or LIFO, stack of objects. Stack follows the push-pop operations. That is, we can push or insert items into stack and pop or retrieve it back. Stack is implemented as a circular buffer. That is, you can push the items into a stack and get it in reverse order. Stack returns the last item first. As elements are added to a stack, the capacity is dynamically increased as required. We have an example here. This is also present in the namespace, system.collections, similar to the array list. So we add using system.collections in the header of the program. The following code shows the use of push and pop methods in stack. The pop method pushes the last element out. The elements of the stack can be iterated using the for each statement. Let's compile and run the code. You can see that the last element is 3. That's right, but the for each statement displays only two elements in the stack. This is because when pop is executed, it removes the reference from the stack. To avoid this, we have the peak method. Let's modify pop to peak. Now compile and run the program. You can see three elements iterated in the for each statement, apart from three being printed by the peak method. There are few more methods and properties that can be functionally helpful. Clear, which deletes all the elements in a stack, and count, which counts the number of elements in the stack. Let's add stack.clear into the program. Also, let's add a count before and after the clear method. Console.writeline braces quotes count is plus sign stack dot count. Repeat the line after clear method. Now compile the program and run it. You can get the output as the count before clear is 3 and the count after clear is 0. There are so many other methods in the system.collections class for manipulating stacks.